Hello everyone, welcome back. So this is a another short, not tutorial, but eh, you can call it that. Basically, it's a pre-made mods folder structure that will allow you to just straight up add things that should now work in Codewalker. I've had a lot of people question why their things are not working when they import it into Codewalker or into open IV and it's usually because their folder structure is incorrect so I just created a a complete package with the, all the folders all the RPF files that just straight up works with Codewalker and the only thing you have to do is just drag and drop it uh, so as per usual link is in the description uh, or you can download it from my, my discord either or it's up to you in this case I'm just going to use the discord link I'm just going to copy it in into Chrome here, and then it, while this is, is downloading, I can find, so in your case, whatever you're using, if you're using Steam or or Epic or Rockstar Launcher, so wherever your GTA is installed, in my case, I'm using Steam, you go Steam Apps, Common, and GTA. If you do have a mods folder already in here, that means you probably have mods installed or you have an existing folder structure. Make sure you either back make a backup of that or wait like two minutes for me to explain the folder structure and you can just recreate it yourself. So I'm gonna open the file I just downloaded. It's gonna contain the mods folder and that's about it. So all you have to do is in your TTA folder, you just drag and drop this like so and then we can close this and inside here you're gonna have the mods update and update.rpf so if we go into code walker or you can also do this in in open iv either or i'm going to use the code walker rpf explorer and it's going to load You can now see that we have the mods folder here, which is also gonna contain the update and then the update.rpf. Inside here, you have x64, DLC pack. This is custom DLC. This is me naming it custom DLC. You can name it whatever you want. In that inside here, you have a DLC.rpf. Uh, again, x64, levels, GTA 5, and this is where I usually do my thing, where in here I create folders with my different projects. So in this case, I have a single file in here, which is going to show you if this works or not. So this is my test underscore building project, which has this, uh, this model inside of it. This again, this structure here is the same in OpenIV. So it's mods update update.rpf x64 dlc pack custom dlc or whatever you want to name this dlc.rpf x64 levels gt5 and then your projects in whatever folders so you can create multiple folders in here it will all work so i'm just going to close this down i'm going to fire up code walker and as per usual if it doesn't show up when you launch Code Walker, make sure you have mods and DLC enabled. So these two has to be enabled. If it, if these are not enabled, make just wait a second for Code Walker to to launch and then enable these, and then it should show up. We're just gonna give it a second here. Code Walker is really slow when I'm like recording, so. And there we go. So the file that I have added to this DLC is this. So it, it replaces this building with it worked. So if you see this, then you know it worked. If you don't see this, then again, make sure you have these enabled and then it should work. 
So that's pretty much it. From now on, whenever you do some sort of modding, either using uh, Cove Walker or OpenIV, you go inside your mods folder. Again, right now I'm just kind of repeating myself, but just want to make sure that everyone knows how to do this. And then you can see mods, update, update RPF, x64, DLC pack, whatever name you want, dlc.rpf, x64, levels, GTA 5, and then your project name. So again, I, I can create an, a new folder in here and call it uh, tutorial folder. And then in here, I can take some of my projects. Uh, do I have any projects? I do have projects. So I can take the building that I already have and just kind of, so this is an ODR file, which is the open format. This is the exported file. So I can just drag and drop this in here. And we now have a working uh, working model change that will show in, in CodeWalker. So that's about it. All right. Hope this helped and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.